G'day people, I hope you're having a fantastic day today. All right, we're going to do a quick video today on how to uh, fix 90% of the stuttering that occurs in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Now, I've um, mucked around with settings, I've, I've done everything I possibly can to uh, stop the stuttering, and I've suddenly come upon a few things that cut about 90% of it out. It works for me. It's for my AMD or Radian system. So it's no guarantee that it'll work for NVIDIA or for you personally, but this is the settings I use to cut it, and uh, it works for me, so hopefully it'll work for you. So stick around if you're interested, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Not only will I uh, show you how to fix the stuttering, but I'll, I'll show you how to improve the looks of uh, the games as well using a couple of. Um, fairly easy settings in your radian setting system. So the first thing you do, go to your uh, radian settings, go to gaming. Now you can either do this on a game by game basis or you can do it on a global graphics as well. If you want to do it on a game by game basis, it's probably better to do it that way if your uh, computer's not dedicated just for gaming. This computer I'm on is dedicated for gaming. So um, I do it on a global basis, but I'll show you now how to do it on a game-by-game -game basis. So you click on the game. Choose the uh, monitor that you're going to use for your gaming. I uh, use two, two monitors, one for, <coughs> excuse me, one for uh, playing the game, one for recording the game. So this is the monitor that I uh, play the game on, uh, which is an Asus monitor. And then from there, what you would do, again, this is, as you can see, I have this setting here disabled because I do it on a global basis. But if you're doing it on a game basis, using this setting, you click it and then go down to your, so this setting is custom color. Click on that, go down to saturation, boost that up to anywhere from 140 to 160. I, I use 160 for saturation. It normally sits on 100. That's its default. So I've bumped it up by 60. And then bump up your brightness from 0 to 5 or whatever you prefer. These are the settings I use, and they, they make the game look so much better. Your color temperature you can set to whatever you personally uh, prefer. But that's the first setting that you'd change. And over here, you'd go to your sharpening effect and boost it up anywhere between 50 to 80. I have it at 80 to sharpen the game to make it look that much more pleasing. Um, again, these are just uh, aesthetics. They're just to make the game look better. They're not going to improve your frame rate. They're not going to slow it down either but they'll make the game look better. The other thing that I did do is I went through all these settings here over a couple of days, testing them out to find out which would improve frame rates to stop stuttering. And I did discover one thing. It doesn't matter, at least not on my, not on my system, it doesn't matter if you increase the frame rates. Stuttering, stuttering will still occur. However. Like I say, trying out all these different settings, I discovered that the one and only setting that did increase frame rates and improve the stuttering slightly was enhanced sync. I just simply enabled that and found that it increased the frame rate. For me, it was only by about four or five frames per second, but it was a, an increase, and it did decrease the stuttering not as much as I'd like, but did decrease the stuttering. And again, that was over days of testing that I found this. Now, again, this is per game. So you just go into the game, set these settings. Again, custom color, adjust that saturation up to what you prefer, between 140 to 160. Bump your brightness up. Increase your sharpness and enable enhanced sync. Those are the things. That work for me.
Yeah, so if you want to uh, do it on a global basis, uh, be forewarned that if you do it on a global basis, it will change uh, your display for everything. But doing it on a game-by-game -game basis, you're only changing the looks of that game. But if you want to do it on a, a global basis so that every game on your computer has that and you don't have to do it individually one by one, you can just click on Global Graphics. Go in here and adjust your sharpening, uh, which I'd forgotten to do. And that gives you your, your, uh, your sharpening. You can go to Global Display and change your custom color within your global display. As you can see, when I go to Display 2, I have it set on there. All right, so again, be forewarned. If you do it globally, it affects everything, every game, uh, not just the game, but your desktop, everything. So if you, you're not uh, prepared to do that, then just do it on a game by game basis and that way it will only affect whichever game you choose. All right, so the next thing I did was I went into where the games are and so find out where your games are stored. I have a few different drives on this uh, setup and I have the uh, where is it? I have Euro Truck Simulator on this one, and I have oops, American Truck on this one. And what I did was simply I went into the uh, where it's stored, so you go Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, American Truck Simulator, into the bin, and then you either choose your 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. I have a 64-bit, so I choose that. And then you have uh, the actual application, that uh, American Truck Simulator. You right-click that, go to Properties. Go to why didn't it do that? Properties. Ah, there we go. Compatibility, and you enable or disable full screen optimizations by clicking that. Run this program as administrator, and you click apply and OK. So once again, this is Euro Truck Simulator. Go into the bin, choose your operating system. Look for the actual application. In this case, it's Eurotrux 2. Right click, go to Properties, Compatibility. Click on Disable Full Screen Optimization and click on Run as, run this program as administrator. Click Apply and then OK. By doing those few things, like I say, I find that it has eliminated the stuttering at least 90%. And when I used to start the game before, I would have in the very, like once I jumped into the truck, in the very first minute or so, I'd have at least seven or eight stutters and fairly large stutters that were noticeable. And if you were in the middle of changing gear or turning a corner, you'd get a sudden jolt and sometimes miss a gear or miss that corner and, and swing out too wide. Um, I don't know if anybody else has experienced it that bad, but that's how bad it was for me. Uh, but now I only get stuttering when it's uh, automatically saving a game or um, just very small micro stutters. So we'll start the game and I'll show you what it looks like. Of course, now that you've, you're running it as administrator, that window will pop up 
and you'll have to say yes to it. Okay. Uh, we'll take the Mac Superliner out. Well, I think we're in the middle of a job with that one. And if this takes a little while to load up because I've got quite a few mods, I'll fast forward it. Okay, so here we are in the game. And um, what I'll do is we'll, we'll jump in. As you can see just by looking at the screen here, how much brighter things are, how much the colours pop, and everything just seems a lot clearer. So we'll uh, take the Superliner for a drive and uh, we'll see how much stuttering we get. The time well, yeah, the like time I say, we're halfway through a job, so... Commands. One thing I've noticed with this Eaton Fuller gear shifter, what you've got to do when you first start the game is click your... Uh, high low range a couple of times so that the computer recognizes it and uh, then you're right to go so by now the game would have started on me at least three times but as you can see there's no stuttering and I'm not exaggerating it normally happens when you first start the game it'll start up one two three um, and uh, then it'll start at probably every 30 to 40 seconds and especially when you're saving the game look there's a stutter that's one compared to by now I would have had Probably four or five, at least. And like I say, when I do get stutters, like that was a very quick micro stutter there. Normally I would have got it and it would have been a jolt. And especially if you're in the middle of changing gear, you'll put it in gear and because you've done it just as it started, it, it will miss the gear and you've got to pull it back out and find the gear again. But like I say, it won't get rid of the stuttering completely because I think you're fine that um, the game just isn't optimised enough. I mean, if, unless you've got a really high-end system, and even with the high-end systems, I've been told that uh, people still get stuttering. So, I mean, I don't think it's something you're going to get rid of completely. But again, if there's anybody out there that knows how to get rid of it completely, that'd be great. Let us know um, in the comments below. And that way uh, we can all try it out. But these settings are about the best settings I've been able to find. Well, that was a big stutter. That's normally what I would have had by now at least, or probably at least seven or eight stutters that large by now. And I've only had the one. busy uh, watching all my readouts and <laughs> not paying attention to what gear I'm in. Uh, 
failed to stop for inspection. Oops. Again, wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, these things happen. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll get out of the game. We'll get out of the truck anyway. And uh, as you can see, stuttering's still there, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was. Uh, but again, hopefully these, stutter these settings will help you with the stuttering and improve the look of the game for you. Uh, if it does, let us know in the comments. If it doesn't, let us know in the comments. And if you found another way that uh, improves it, again, put it in the comments so we can all benefit from it because that's what we're here to do. We're all here to benefit each other and uh, help each other w with the game, and not just this game, but all games that we, we, uh, we like and share. So anyway, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, uh, press the like button and share it so other people know about it because they might be having the same problems. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.